understood we come to the next question and this question will force you to think in something different way really different way this question again also based on the ratio simple concept whatever today today questions i am going to discuss in this workshop or whatever i discussed in last 10 15 minutes not a single question required any special knowledge not a single question everything just you can say whatever you know during childhood that knowledge only it is needed not a single high level of concept is needed similar with this questions also is not required very high level of knowledge but of course it it required something different way to think question is ratio of boys ratio of boys to girls in a class is 7 ratio 4 it is given 7 ratio 4 if total number of students are a perfect square number but not more than 1000 find the sum of the difference between this you try to understand properly question is asking find the sum of the difference between maximum boys minimum girls and maximum girls and minimum boys these four different variables are there that you should get what is the value of these four variables maximum boys minimum girls maximum girls minimum boys and you have to take difference of these two you have to take the difference of these two and these two and you have to find the sum of that sum of that difference is this is the question how to proceed if we will think in typical way or very academic way we can do, we can solve this question there is not a big deal question is not challenging your understanding or your knowledge or your any of the any of the any of the information but question is asking question is demanding you must think in different way to get this question solved within 1 minute how to do it 7 and 11 7 ratio 4 if we are adding it is becoming 11 what is 11 it is a prime number this is one of the clue because here you have to find total number means you have to add this 7 plus 4 this 11 is giving the clue and that will give you the limitation of option choices or limitation of the numbers which you will get perfect square and less than 1000 it should not exceed 1000 what will do just will play with the ratio factor multiplication it is one of the concept of vedic math if you are able to play very well with the ratio you will able to solve this question just a one or two liner this is your original ratio 7 by 4 if you are doing factor multiplication 11 it will become 77 by 4 factor multiplication 44 308 upon 176 now you can say why we have taken factor multiplication 11 and 44 because these two only option is there these two only possibility how very immediately we will able to understand these two only can be because once you are making the sum 11x where x is just uh, common factor equal to p square where p square is less than 1000 then x either it will be equal to 11 because x whatever this 11 is there this is prime number it cannot factorize then x must be 11 to make it perfect square or x must be equal to 44 to again make it perfect square because 11 into 44 if you are doing then from from here to you can shift there and we can write 22 into 22 it will become 22 square these two numbers only will be feasible less than 1000 if any next choices you will take like you can take the take the choice of uh, like your uh, 3 into something 11 here then 3 you will shift this side then it will come 33 then here you have to take 33 means next option will be 99 next option will be 99 then it will become 33 square but 33 square is we know it will be a more than 1000 because 32 square is 1024 32 square is 2 to the power 10 that is 1024 then 33 square must be more than 1000 means it is not our selected option means only two choice we have only two value of x will satisfy this condition x equal to 11 x equal to 44 If x equal to 11, then factor multiplication 11. This ratio will change 7 by 4 equal to 77 by 44, and if factor multiplication 44, it will change to 3 not 8 by 176. Then this is boy to girl ratio is given. Then this is your boy maximum, and this is your girl maximum. This is your boy minimum, 
and this is your girl minimum now we have to take the difference maximum boys minimum girls 308 minus 44 to 64 maximum girls minimum minimum boys 176 minus 77 99 you have to find the sum of 264 and 99 363 answer will be 363 here how many concept you need to apply to solve this question one concept is ratio concept you must be aware another vedic math concept is factor multiplication how to use very fast another concept this uh, perfect square how to find and what is the pattern of uh, finding the perfect square and fourth is you can say we have to analyze the question these four variable are there and how to find these four variable means these four concept if you are merging together then you are able to solve very easily without compromising the time and without compromising your accuracy i think good question this is your cat level question this type of question you will find plenty in cat or any of the mock